Hi, and thanks so much for joining me. Today we are featuring the Pink Sakura palette by Dior. If you'd like to see that, please keep watching. And this just came in the mail, so let's open it. In eight, four, nine. Here are the swatches, and this shade right here has a bit of an interesting shift to it. Let's go ahead and put a look together. And I did just change up my hair a little bit. But let's go ahead with the palette. So I think I'm gonna focus on those two first and see how it goes. And I don't know if you noticed, but I did pull both of these blushes right here because I do wanna try them side by side. So we have the new Chanel blush and the Chantecaille Manta Ray. So we're gonna go in with this shade right here, that really light a lilac -y shade. We're gonna go really light-handed. Okay, I really like that color actually. I wasn't quite sure how it was gonna go. I'm gonna take this under as well. I just kinda wanna see what it looks like all over the eye. So same color, let's take it under. Very faint, but it's kind of canceling out that redness. I think that color is really pretty. Um, let's go ahead and take this color right here and go in the crease. Same color under as well. Next, let's take this color. That one looks really intense. We're gonna go in the corner there. Yeah, <laughs> it is intense. So just have to be a little careful here. Yeah, you can go really intense on this if, if that's what you want, but I'm gonna keep it really kind of light. Okay, I think we'll stick with like this wash of color idea. I just wanna take this middle color and put it right next to that deepest color just to see how it looks. And I don't have much lid space, so I'm just gonna put a little bit. You know what, I'm gonna tight line with Cassis, I think. It's like a dark, dark purple color. Okay, and then just some mascara. Let's go really light first, we'll go with the Ilia. So there's one coat of the Ilia mascara on. I thought we could go in with blush and lip and then we'll intensify. So let's go ahead with blush. I do wanna compare these two. I just wanted to feature this one by itself, but um, we noticed a similarity. So swatching and putting them on are two different stories sometimes. Let's go ahead and put on Manta Ray here. And I have uh, one pretty one that I like to show, but then there's one that's not so pretty because I've been using it's this one. <laughs> So this is the one I'm gonna use. That one's my backup. Get a lot of vibrant color right away with the um, Chantecaille. And it is quite vibrant right off the bat. Now these are both categorized as coral, but they also both have a lot of pink in them. And I think that coral and purple actually work really nicely together. So that's Manta Ray right there. The Chanel blush on the side. So I'm gonna get a fresh brush here. Although some of you let me know that this is a difficult blush to get a hold of. I didn't realize that it was so difficult to get a hold of. And it is limited edition if you were wondering. 
And one of you noticed there is a bit of a sheen to this blush, nothing shimmery in there, nothing sparkly, but there is a sheen. And I think that's what part of the glow is all about. Okay, so there they are side by side. Chanel, Chantecaille. They're really close. <laughs> I think that the Chanel builds a little bit slower and it doesn't have the same, this is more vibrant over here. Um, still, it's a beautiful brighter color, but it's not as like, this is really vibrant over here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it um, on camera, but I can see it here. This has more of like a poppy kind of vibrancy to it than this. This is a little bit more subdued, just a little bit. So I hope that was helpful, but now I've gotta try and <laughs> even them out. So I'm gonna take this Chanel here and just apply it over this. And then I'm gonna take some of the Chantecaille and try and liven this side up a little bit. And now when I put too much blush on, I just go in with the Hummingbird powder and I buff it in. I know this takes a little bit away from that transparent kind of application, but I do wanna to tone it down just slightly. We can put the highlighters on too. Let's see the Manta Ray because it's lighter first on this side. This is not my favorite highlighter, but we'll just try. Um, there's nothing wrong with this one. It's just the tone. I prefer the one in the Whale Shark better. And then let's clean this off. Chanel highlighter. Very, very slight difference. This just has a little bit more of a pinky tone to it than this one. And then I have two Chanel lips I thought might look pretty with this. Um, I have here Intense Caramel or Endless Pink, and I'm wanting to go with Intense Caramel just because I feel like we've got the lavender eye, we've got the bright cheek, and maybe this is just gonna be more neutral, so let's try. Maybe we'll mix in a little bit of Endless Pink, just a little bit. I am almost at the end of this one, so it's okay if they get mixed up a little bit. So here's a soft look in case you wanted a wash of color type of application with this. I just tight lined one coat of mascara, cheek and lip, but let's go ahead and intensify. Let's take this deeper shade right here and we're going to just kind of build that outer corner right over here. I'm gonna take this color right here and intensify the crease just a little bit. I'm gonna go in with that deepest color again and just go underneath a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to take this color in the middle and then just pat that right here next to that deepest shade. Let's take um, the Chantecaille eyeliner. It's in Violet Damask. It's a lovely purpley color. It's got a little bit of a bluish hue to it. A little bit of this lightest color, that not lightest, but that light lavender color, and then just sweep that up a little bit. I think I'm just gonna go in with Sylvie and neutralize that waterline again, and then go ahead with a little bit of mascara on the bottom lash line the Chantecaille mascara on the bottom lashes. And I think we'll do one more coat of mascara. Okay, lastly, let's add a little bit of this. Not my favorite kind of shadow, it just has too much sparkle in there for me, but we'll add it and see how it looks. And this one has like a iridescence about it as well. Okay, so that is the final look. I'm not gonna do a winged liner. I feel like there's a lot already happening with all of the purple colors. If I did go in with one, it probably would be the uh, Surat, not the purple one. I think that might be pretty, but I think right now, I just really am loving the wash of color. I actually liked that first look. I think that was really pretty, but you can see more of the colors when I add it on to the end, of course. I liked the way all of these performed. Uh, this one was really beautiful. That first one, I didn't think it would look good on me because um, I didn't know if it would show up and I wasn't sure if it was too cool for me, but I think it was really pretty. 
I like this color as well. It's got a really interesting shift to it, but I think it worked really well in the crease. This here, really intense. Uh, so just be careful with this one. And then this one was pretty, probably something I don't wanna use a whole lot of though. So I did just put it in that corner. And then this one, again, not, not my favorite shade, but usually in these quints, there's a shade I don't love. And it's usually because it has that kind of consistency to it where you have individual particles. But if you like that, that is in there. I do think it's a really beautiful spring palette, especially if you like this shade. So I personally probably would pick it up just because I do like the purple shades, but I probably would just use these two more often than any of the other shades in there. And I do have to say the performance of this is consistent with all the other quints I've tried. The only one that came to mind out of the ones that I have is Tutu, although they don't really look anything alike. When I pulled that one out, I really saw how different they were, but we can go ahead and swatch them side by side just so you can see. Is Tutu right here on the right side. This is Pink Sakura over here on the left side. You can see they are very different from each other in case you were wondering about it. Definitely more of a pink lilac -y color for Pink Sakura. And then the one on the right, Tutu, is a lot more subdued. There is some purple in there, but it's a different kind of purple. It's much more uh, muted, I'm gonna say. Yeah, there's a bit of a mocha kind of take on the shades here especially. Now here, this is interesting, this one and this one look similar, but they are not the same. But they do look a little bit similar. And the other shades here and here are very different. Those would be the next closest. And I also hope it was helpful to see those blushes side by side. I myself was curious, so I just kind of wanted to see them. So I hope that helps you out. But that is it for today's video, so please take care of each other, stay well. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next time.